Rated M for Mature. In the first two episodes, we saw how Lara Croft uses her wits and equipment to explore and conquer the inhospitable island. However, the environment is only one of Lara's many concerns, as vicious animals and hostile inhabitants will force Lara to fight to stay alive. In this episode, we'll see how Lara's skills and expanding arsenal come together in combat. Whether it's a close quarters brawl or a pitched firefight, Lara must become a master of arms to survive the Dragon's Triangle. This is Guide to Survival Episode 3, Survival Combat. We've seen how Lara can use the base camp system to augment equipment, fast travel around the island, and unlock skills. With those skills, Lara can overcome the island's wide-ranging environments in many different ways. Whether climbing a snow-battered mountain or traversing a storm-ravaged coastline during the night or day, Lara must explore the island to gain the experience and equipment necessary to survive. While exploring, Lara will be given the opportunity to find secret passages that lead to hidden tombs. If she manages to unlock their mysteries, she will acquire additional experience and salvage. For Lara, being able to explore any location in any condition is a matter of life or death. As all of the things that help her explore the vast island are key in making her a smart, dangerous fighter. Outnumbered by the island's inhabitants, stealth is often Lara's greatest advantage. By utilizing the environment, she can hide using cover, take the high ground to stay out of sight of the scavengers, and then engage them on her terms. By approaching enemies undetected, Lara can execute stealth kills, quietly eliminating her foes and keeping their comrades clueless. In addition, her bow acts as an effective stealth weapon at range. By shooting arrows near idling scavengers, Lara can use the noise to distract them and cause an enemy to investigate, splitting them up and allowing Lara to take advantage of their confusion. Typically outnumbered and facing larger and better equipped enemies, Lara can use the environment to gain an advantage and conserve ammo. Lara can shoot lanterns and a well-placed and well-timed shot will catch an enemy on fire. Some areas also have explosive barrels that Lara can use to take down multiple enemies at once. There are also rare opportunities for Lara to cause major explosions, decimating any enemies nearby. However, the scavengers will also use the environment to their advantage and will take cover in a variety of ways depending on how Lara is attacking. They'll attack from behind cover and coordinate their tactics so one enemy draws Lara's attention while others try to flank her. The scavengers have also set traps around the island in an attempt to capture Lara and her crew. If Lara isn't careful, she may find herself fighting upside down or having to find ways to shoot her way out of captivity. By reading her foes, Lara can dodge their attacks, giving her time to retaliate with a quick shot or a devastating counter. As she explores and gains experience, she can unlock new skills at the base camp to make her a more versatile fighter. Through the Brawler skill tree, Lara can unlock various melee abilities. With the Dirty Trick skill, Lara can quickly grab a fistful of dirt while scrambling and use it to blind her enemies. In addition, Lara can learn various counters, making her arrows more effective at short range and turning the climbing axe into much more than an exploration tool. As a close combat fighter, Lara is more than capable. But as she explores deeper in the island, she encounters even more dangerous enemies. With the weapon parts system, Lara can make sure her arsenal is always in top condition. As Lara explores, she obtains new weapons such as the pistol, shotgun, and machine gun. However, the weapons she finds are often in poor condition. Lara can increase the firepower and traits of her arsenal by acquiring a variety of parts for her different weapons. With enough of those parts, Lara can return to a base camp and upgrade her weapons, turning her rusted guns or makeshift longbow into something much more deadly. By upgrading her weapons, Lara will now have access to a greater number of attachments that she can unlock using the salvage she has accumulated. Weapon parts are found randomly while acquiring salvage, giving Lara extra incentive to use the fast travel system and scour areas for all usable materials. In this series, we've seen how Lara uses her wits, exploration, and survival combat to transform from a struggling youth into a seasoned adventurer. 
Lara learns how to survive in a harsh environment, overcome the dangerous obstacles in her path, and combat dangerous savages as she takes the first steps towards becoming an iconic heroine. This is Tomb Raider. Pre-order today and receive the GameStop exclusive Tomb of the Lost Adventurer, the Shantytown multiplayer map, and access to the Tomb Raider scavenger hunt where you can unlock DLC and win great prizes.